Everyone learns how to tell time. It's a thing you learn one day, like you learn how to walk. And who is your mother? And that up is up, and down is down. It's really easy. The secret is, you don't tell time. Time tells you. Time tells you when it's time to rise, and when it's time to sleep. And when it's time to sing and laugh, and even when to weep. Time tells you when the sun will shine, and when my spark will fall. And when you're old enough for school, and how long you to tell time. A long, long time ago, so long ago we really don't know when it was, man made a discovery. Perhaps a man said to his wife, when the sun rises, the day begins. And she may have answered, yes, and when the sun sets, the day is over. That was the first way of telling time. Later on, man made the hourglass to tell the hours in the day, from sunrise to sunset. He put some sand, just like you see at the beach, in a glass which was big at the top and bottom, with a thin place in the middle for the sand to go through very slowly. The top and the bottom of the glass were closed, so the sand couldn't get out. Have you ever let the sand go through your fingers very slowly? Try it next time you're at the park or at the beach. It takes time for a handful of sand to go through your fingers. Well, early man made an hourglass that would let the sand trickle through the thin part of the glass in exactly one hour. When all the sand was at the bottom, he would turn the glass over and start again. That way he could watch the hours go by. But perhaps his wife said, well, that's all fine and dandy. We know the day starts with the sunrise and ends with the sunset, and we can tell an hour in the day, but well, what hour is it? Is it lunchtime, or is it time to cook dinner, or what? So then, man made the sundial. Have you ever seen one? It's round like a pancake, with a stick standing up, and when the sun shines on it, the stick makes a shadow. There are marks around the sundial, and the man said... When the shadow of the stick points to one mark, it is breakfast time. And when the shadow of the stick points to another mark, it is dinner time. But what if the sun doesn't shine? Then we can't use the sundial. And so, man made up the clock. And that is how we tell time today. There are many kinds of clocks. In England, there is a famous clock called Big Ben. He sounds like this. Many churches have bells that chime to tell time, and they sound like this. And then there are alarm clocks. And 
and grandfather clocks. And cuckoo clocks. And watches that you wear on your wrist. And ships at sea have bells that sound like this. But they all tell time. And so will you. Now there are three things you must know in order to tell time. One is the clock. Now you say it with me. One is the clock. Two is the hour hand. Come on. Two is the hour hand. And three is the minute hand on the clock. Can you say that? And three is the minute hand on the clock. All right. Let's start with the clock. It is round or it is square. It is big or it is small. But whatever size or shape it is, the clock has a face. The face the flat part of the clock. The whole front of the clock is the face. Now look at our clock on the record. The face is really all of the clock that you can see. Our face is green and yellow. All around the face are numbers. They go down one side of the clock and up the other side. They go down the green side of the clock and up the yellow side. There are 12 numbers. Can you count to 12? Number one and number two Make clocks I brought just for you Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Make that smile that's just like mine Ten and eleven I brought two Twelve's at the top and so we're through Now, you sing with me and make a circle with your hand going around your clock. Start at the top and go to the right, down the green side of the clock, and up the yellow side. And point with your finger to a number all the way to the top again as we sing the song together. Are you ready? All right. Number one and number two Make clocks I brought just for you Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make a smile that's just like mine. Ten and eleven, I brought two. Twelve's at the top, and so we're through. You've made your hand go around the clock. Now, look at the hands on the clock. They are really pointed sticks. Not like your hands at all. More like, like fingers. The short, fat hand, which is red on our clock, is the hour hand. The long, thin hand, which is blue on our clock, is the minute hand. Now let's look at the hour hand, the fat, short, red one. First, let's put the minute hand out of our way. So point it up to the top of the clock. The number 12, straight up. Now, when the hour hand points to 12, come on, put yours there with the minute hand. That's it. It is 12 o'clock. It looks just like one hand, doesn't it? Now, when the hour hand is just past 12, that's on the green side of the clock. It is after 12, or past 12 o'clock. When the hour hand is just in front of the 12, now that's on the yellow side of the clock. It is just before 12 o'clock. There are 24 hours in the day, so the hour hand goes all around the clock two times, making two circles from one morning to the next morning. Our day starts at 7 o'clock, so put the hand on the 7. That's the number with the big black circle around it. 
See it right there? That's it at the bottom of the clock on the yellow side. That's right. And I'll sing the next song. And you move the hand to the next number, eight. And so on, all around the clock. Put your hour hand on the seven. It's eight o'clock and breakfast is served. Put your hour hand on the eight. It's nine o'clock and you're in school. Come on, put your hour hand on the nine. It's ten o'clock and time for recess. Put your hour hand on the ten. It's eleven o'clock and you study some more. Put the hour hand on eleven. It's 12 o'clock and lunchtime is here. Put the hour hand on the 12. It's 1 o'clock and time for a rest. Put your hour hand on the 1. It's 2 o'clock and school is out. Come on, put your hour hand on the 2. It's 3 o'clock and cookies and milk. Put your hour hand on the 3. It's 4 o'clock and play. Put your hour hand on the floor. It's five o'clock and wash and rest. That's it. Put your hour hand on the five. It's six o'clock and dinner time. Now, put your hour hand on the six. It's seven o'clock and time for bed. Put your hour hand on the seven. Let's do that again together. It's seven o'clock, time to get up. That's right, on the seven. It's eight o'clock and breakfast is served. Great, on the eight. It's nine o'clock and you're in school. Fine, right on the nine. It's 10 o'clock and time for recess. And then, on ten. It's eleven o'clock, and you study some more. Eleven. On eleven. It's twelve o'clock, and lunchtime is here. Twelve. Straight up. It's one o'clock, and time for a rest. It's fun. On one. It's two o'clock, and school is out. You'll do on the two. It's three o'clock and cookies and milk. Like me, on three. It's four o'clock and play outside. A little more on four. It's five o'clock and wash and rest. Look alive on five. It's six o'clock and dinner time. Straight down now on the six. It's seven o'clock and time for bed. And back at the seven. It's eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve and one and two. It's three and four and five, six, seven and start the day. See how easy it was? <laughs> 